Hi, my name is Blaine Jemmett. Welcome to the Utah Helicopter Idle Falls location. Today we're going to be talking about Coriolis Effect. Now Coriolis Effect states that as the center of mass of a spinning object comes closer to its axis of rotation, its velocity increases. I like to think about an ice skater doing a spin. When their arms are further away from their body, they're spinning relatively slow. As their arms come closer together, they speed up. The same thing occurs in our rotor system. Our first figure here describes a helicopter with an uncompensated rotor system. Shown here is the rotors as sitting on the ground while spinning. There's no lift in them, so they're straight out. As we start applying lift, the blades begin to cone upwards. The one blade is going to cone up further, and its center of mass will come closer to the axis of rotation, thereby speeding up and the bottom one is going to flap down and actually push away from the axis of rotation causing it to slow down. The R22 is compensated with the use of an underslung rotor system meaning that the blades are attached to the rotor hub at a lower point than the main mast is. Again in this photo the, ro the, the blades are spun up and are straight out. However when we increase lift Instead of this blade coming closer, the underslung rotor system actually pushes it further out and away, thereby keeping the velocity the same, and on this side pulls in, thereby allowing it not to slow down, so that our rotor blades keep the same amount of velocity regardless of their position as they spin. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.